YouTube viewers, scientists, and science lovers. I know I told you in my last video my battery's going to, uh, I mean, going low on my iPad. But the reason I m made this video now is because I was watching, well, this last video now, not this video, but this last video is because I was watching the news a little bit, which I don't normally do. And they were talking about evolution on a segment with NASA about a comment. I mean, comment. If you want to know more about that, just ch check it out on CBS. I'm sure they'll have it. But any anyway, some of them said that they think this world was made by evolution. When referring to their comment, that they were wanting to know more about how we evolved. We didn't evolve. We didn't evolve. If you'll just read God's word, we did not evolve. And if we did. God made us. God made us, cause I was just I was just thinking, a thousand years as is a day, and a day is as a thousand years for God. And this, and the Bible says that the the earth and we were made within a seven day period of time. So if you'll just read it and do research on it, I'm sure that you'll find that either way we were made in seven days. And you gotta remember, this world was made in seven days, so, but either way, we weren't evolved in seven days, God made us in seven days. You'll see it specifically says nothing about a big bang. Now, I've always hated science classes, and I know exactly why that is, because God has told me several times personally and through whom and through someone whom I believed to be an angel. I'll speak more about my encounter with her later, but remember, not to self, it was at the Charlotte Airport coming home from Massachusetts a few years back. But anyway, listen. She told me, God told me personally and through a friend, and she told me personally that I'm supposed to be a pastor, and like I said, God told me through a friend that that same thing. I've heard it at least six times that I'm supposed to be a pastor, and God's word says he does not lie, and I believe it with all my heart, but if you'll just do what he, what his word says and come to him, you'll see that, that he tells the truth, and if you want to know more about how to come to him, read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the New Testament. Thank you, That that is all I, I have to say for now.